What is the average 401k balance by age range? Let's find out. Hello, this is Matt from Let's Not Be Fools, the channel that brings you financial and other life advice a couple times a week. Let's get into this. We're going to look at some data based on a study by Fidelity. They took a look at the average 401k balance for the accounts they're holding and it gives us some pretty good insight as to what's going on out there in terms of retirement accounts. It's important to keep in mind that this study is just done by Fidelity based on the accounts that they know of, that is the ones they're holding. Many people have multiple accounts at multiple brokerages, so this doesn't really represent the average retirement savings of everybody, just of those accounts that are with Fidelity. So would you believe that the average 20 to 29 year old person that has a 401k balance with Fidelity has an account balance of $210,510? I hope you don't believe that because it's not true. I know this is disturbing to have me this close. I'll back off. Actually, the average 20 to 29 year old has a balance of $11,800. The average balance of a 30 to 39 year old is $42,400. The 40 to 49 year old has an average balance of $102,700. 50 to 59 year olds have a balance of $174,100. And last but certainly, uh, and last but certainly not least, the 60 to 69 year olds have an average balance of $195,500. So take a look at these figures. See where you fall in terms of your peers and kind of take a look at that and see where you are. Now I think benchmarking against your peers is a good thing, but really you're not competing against them. You're competing against yourself and what kind of retirement you want to have in the future. Now these numbers are kind of alarming. These values are really low when you think about needing money for retirement. The 50 to 69 year olds don't have near enough saved up for an independent retirement. And even though they'll get social security benefits, that's still not going to be enough to really have a secure retirement for most people. If you're in these younger age ranges, you'll need to know that, hey, I need to save a lot more money. I don't want to end up down here with these low values. I want to end up with several hundred thousand dollars. And uh, there's some guidelines that I'll go over in a minute. But again, this is the time to think about how much you'd put away earlier in your life so that these balances are not this low when you get here later in life. Now here are some guidelines that were thrown out by some financial professionals somewhere. Uh, they say this is the amount of money that you should have saved in your retirement accounts by a certain age. So by age 30, you should have at least half of your annual salary. So if you're making $50,000 a year at age 30, you should have at least 25,000 in your retirement savings. And then by the time you're 40, you should have two times your annual salary range saved up in retirement. So if at 40, you're making $100,000, then they say, by age 40, you should have about $200,000 in your retirement accounts and so on, down 50, 60, all the way to 67. And by age 67, eight times your salary. So if you're making, let's say you're still making $100,000 a year at age 67, they would want you to have at least eight times that $100,000 or $800,000 saved up in a retirement account. And that $800,000 still might not be enough, but at least it's a lot better than the $195,000 average right here that you see. So these are just kind of guidelines. I still don't even think that's enough. Um, it really doesn't come down to a factor, but it comes down to an amount of money based on what your retirement goals are and what your standard of living will be. And I can cover those in subsequent videos, but I just wanted to make this video to kind of show you uh, where the averages are right now for the most part, uh, just so you can benchmark and kind of compare and even compete but really compete against yourself, challenge yourself to really build up a retirement account worth having. Obviously, retirement isn't always about how much money you have saved up. It's definitely about living a fulfilling retirement, but having money as that security is definitely a good thing. And I think we can all agree of having a good amount of money saved up in retirement to live on and live on comfortably and give you that security is a good thing. So that's why I wanted to make this video, just so you can get an idea where you are and where you want to be. Think about it. And uh, if you have any comments, put them down below. I'd love to answer your questions if you have any. And um, that's it for now. Have a great day.